World Understanding and Peace Day takes place on February 23rd every year. This day is actually a commemoration of the first meeting of Rotary that was held. This meeting of businessmen, which aimed to be a space where their backgrounds did not matter, it started the chain of events that led to the formation of the Rotary International, an international organization that is dedicated to humanitarian service, as well as peace and goodwill throughout the world. How many of you are familiar with the Rotary Club? Very much. Jenny, do you know about Rotary Club? I, I mean, growing up, yeah, I growing up, I, I know my, my, my parents and then a couple of our relatives, I used to hear them oh, talk about Rotary it, meeting, yes. Rotary, and I always used to wonder, what is this Rotary meeting about? Then I remember, where, there's the place we used to pass close to my house, a roundabout that had that Rotary logo yeah, on they, it as yeah. well, yeah. So, I mean, hearing this today, it took me back. It was quite nostalgic for me because it took me back to those days where I'm like, okay. I mean, later on when I grew up, I then understood why or how, why they had the Rotary Clubs in the first place, how it was just to help strengthen people that are in the same businesses, yes. you know, build a network per se. Yeah? And I thought that was actually a beautiful thing to see that people could actually hold hands and, you know, help each other to yeah. grow and, and all of that. So so, the, the Rotary Club is actually one of the, the first, um, community building yeah, actually, society. You're actually, very right. yes. Because I mean, they started from back in our father's days. days. We saw mm -hmm. them coming together, mm -hmm. you know, having business initiative, going yeah. to help the poor. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there are a couple of other um, organizations. Mm -hmm. I know there's JCI. Yeah, yeah, yeah food, food, food gospel. Yeah, there are a lot, yeah. Yeah. Like there, that. There yeah, are yeah. lot of organizations that actually support you know, and foster this. But for me, I, I'm just thinking when we think about the world um, understanding and, and peace, peace day, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it means that everybody has to sit down reflect 24 yeah. hours no violence mm. let's keep at peace but do we need to have a day for to experience to this that. and i'm really happy that for nigerians this is a very i mean amazing opportunity for us to remember yeah. because oh, it's this, it's a day all over the world mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but for nigeria it's important because it's yes. two days to the to election the yes. yeah. and just reminding us that we're here for peace mm. we're here for unity mm. This is just like a huge reminder, guys, that we're actually fighting for the same thing. We're mm -hmm. fighting for the same cause. And, I mean, thank God we're here to have this conversation to ensure that every other person is doing the right thing and ensuring that we vote on Saturday. Yes. We're all I'm, going I'm excited out. about it. <laughs> Super I know, excited. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're all going now to exercise our civic Christmas. And like yeah. you rightly said, we are not people of war. Yeah, we should always not. be people of yeah. peace at all times. All and times. let us actually let that actually reflect when we go out to vote on Saturday and then on the 11th of March as well. Yeah, so Jola, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, today I found um, Simon Ekma, a self-acclaimed disciple of uh, Namdi Kano, leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, iPod, has been arrested in Finland. Okay, so this is um, on the backdrop of a story that had happened yeah. about um, him, you know, agitating for stay at home and saying that um, there will be no elections in that region, region, in the Southeast region. And, you know, of course, the Indigo had already notified, had appealed to the federal government to ensure that he was arrested. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I personally think it's a step in the right direction because I don't think one person has the right to destabilize yes. a nation that desperately, mm. you know, needs... These are the dividends of democracy, democracy. you know. Mm -hmm. So for someone to say that a whole region, by some understanding, you know, that they have, think that, you know, agitating people to not go well, exercise their civic duty mm -hmm. is a call to action for whatever, I, I think is just... It's just so wrong. It is so, it, so, wrong. so wrong. But Nigerians so are fighting because the people that you think are not knowledgeable, mm. they are beginning to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Is yes. it 500 naira you're giving mm -hmm. to me? Is it 1,000? Why should I not go and vote? True. I have the power True. to do this. True. So I should. True. 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 So it's, 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 it's yeah. you know, Jenny, what's your story? All right. Um, so the Nigerian Army approves hotlines for Operation Safe Conduct. So basically what has happened is they have given out numbers that you can call in each state if there's a fight or if there's any violence or you suspect anything that is going on that is going to disrupt the peace on election day. Mm. So I think, um, well, this is on the screen right now. Maybe people can actually look for the website, probably just go to the Nigerian Army website mm. and then check for those numbers. So it, there's one for each state. state. There's one for Lagos, there's one for Abia State, there's one for Abuja. So don't be in Lagos and call the one in Abia State. It won't work. Yeah. Just call the one that is in your state. Mm. Jennifer, thank you for this. This is actually yeah. very important. Very, we've, been, very, we've been talking very. a lot about voter sensitization. Mm. I think people need to take note of this. Just in case there's anything. You know, we discussed safety yesterday as yeah. well. Yeah. Mm. 
these are the numbers that you can actually reach out to just in case of any any problems mm. at all at your polling units. Yeah, thank you. Um, Alara. Uh, so for my news, um, Lagos, Lagos Potter caught passengers stranded as airline delays their flights. Um, so today, the early, um, in the, uh, during the afternoon hours today, Passengers that are traveling to Lagos, um, between Lagos and Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. they were not able to travel because um, at the Muritala International Airport, um, our, the correspondents actually gathered that passengers were stranded and they couldn't board their flights. So flights from 10.30 in the morning was rescheduled and um, airlines like Airpeace, Air Max um, and a couple of other airlines have act actually announced that from on Saturday, there's not going to be any flights right. out of their mm -hmm. location because of the election. election. But from Sunday, the um, you know movement and flights will actually resume. So please, guys, if you need to make plans around this um, you know election period to ensure that your you, because the safety of yourself is well, like one of the most important, important things. So yes, the airlines must have cancelled and you know scatter your plan. Mm. But please just look for a way to stay safe and you know just ensure that everything works out for I mean everybody because we're trying to find peace around yeah but yeah the thing that I was I'm, I was going to ask right mm -hmm. why do this airlines delay flights like this how can you keep people in the airport from mm. 10 till 5 that's very inhuman no no I know they won't give you anything no, no water nothing. no food nothing nothing the worst is at night you have a 7 p.m. flight they, they cancel it and maybe reschedule to, to like 9 p.m. Mm. They reschedule again to 11 p.m. So imagine that, let's assume your flight takes off by 11 p.m. Mm. in Abuja. Mm -hmm. You're coming to Lagos. Lagos. You land the by next 12. Day. That, the next that day has actually. happened to me. From, <laughs> I got to the airport at about 3 a.m. 3 p.m. Oh, and you were at the airport all the way from 3 p.m. My flight was supposed to be 11 a.m. Back to Lagos from Abuja. So they sent a message. So they delayed till 12.45. <clears throat> I, I was at the airport, then they moved it to three. Now, that's three. They didn't tell us. They didn't, I mean, they didn't Same. communicate. From that three, we didn't leave Abuja till about 11.15. <laughs> uh -uh. I think that the lawlessness <laughs> in, in Nigeria in has country. trickled through some corporate organizations. <laughs> that they don't even care. So what they the customers care. do, yeah, they, they will just care. drag me yeah. and that's the end. So, just, yeah. I mean, I believe, I believe there's a new sorry. Nigeria coming. Mm -hmm. and, Amen and it's to going that. to It's going to affect not only... Um, the government and and the people it's going to affect businesses yeah. Mm. yeah because a lot of like we're talking about it in the makeup room yeah. a lot of businesses are opening their eyes to see that Same. so many things that were not working before mm. has to work now yes. you have to give me you have to give me value, value for my money, money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. can you just imagine like this whole issue with the fuel and mm. all of that mm. i'm paying for something but i was still hustle even money too Good i'm not going to be emotional today <laughs> 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 okay now for my story i mean when I saw this, I remember the conversation we had, I think it was last week, where there was um, an em employee that had stolen mm. some things from her uh, boss's pantry. Mm. And I remember we were talking about love that day. Do we actually love, love each other? I think it was a Valentine's yeah. Day episode, actually. Do we actually love each other in Nigeria? And then I saw this today, and I'm like, oh my God, not again. <laughs> So, um, a Lagos chef was actually arrested for stealing from his employers, and he's been identified as Wilfred Amosu. He was arrested in Lagos State for stealing from his employers, and the Lagos State Pub Police Public Relations Officer Benjamin Ndei made this known through his Twitter handle today. He said Amosu sedates his employers and steals their valuables. Oh, sedates? So yes. That's a and then, offense. actually, this guy even has a niche of victims. So, in Banana Island, in VI, in Koyi, in Koyi Park View, that's where his employers and I feel this is so wicked. So he will take up a job as a cook or as a chef. And then somewhere in between, maybe after drug a them. month or so, he will then it's drug them and steal, and steal their valuables this, and cut away with it. This is the reason why they have agencies with, for this kind of things. Because I need to hold somebody, somebody <coughs> responsible. Mm -hmm. Even the agencies, do they really These days, do any background check? When it happens, Nigeria. I mean... Though it, but the thing is, it happens, and then because these people can actually escape from them. Yes. Because yeah. gone are the days when they used to make them swear out or do mm -hmm. things like that. So now they, are not, they don't have any ties. No so they could still, especially if they steal something that is worth, worth so much. Yeah. They still, and then, then they why, go why away. do you even have to sedate so the person? someone with a medical condition. Do you understand? Which is using all sorts of drugs, and then you... Come back. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, Benjamin Deng has said anybody that has been a victim can pro now proceed to the Ikoi Police Division mm. for further necessary action as well. Yeah. Okay, so um, when we come back from this break, we will discuss our topic for tonight. See you after the break. See you.